Hi kids, welcome back to my channel Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly the Monkey with the Wrench. Today is going to be a real short video on how to repair the fuel tank on pretty much any machine, but in this case it is a Craftsman Zero Turn. And this one has our fuel coming out of the top. Uh, when I got it, this as you can see uh, was leaking and it was drawing air. This has a fuel pump, so the pump sucks through like a straw. And they attempted to fix it by putting a bunch of, uh, I don't know, some kind of sealant on there. And they had gobbed it up and it still wasn't working and the sealant dried out. And so when I got the machine from Carlitos, who's a subscriber, uh, you know, if you watch the other videos, you'll know about the flywheel and the starter gear and that kind of stuff. And he said, you're going to need a new fuel tank. Sorry, that's expensive. And I looked them up and a fuel tank for this is $152. $152. So I, first of all, I'm not going to spend $152 on a fuel tank when it doesn't need it. Second of all, I'm going to show you how to save $147 because we're going to fix it for five bucks. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the dislike button, uh, show a little interaction. Let's make this a quick video. So all I did was pull out the original pickup and I run my finger through there to make sure that the hole is not all corroded and the edges aren't, you know, falling apart and whatnot. And I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver make sure that there's nothing left I'm not worried about anything going into the fuel tank right now because I'm gonna take the fuel tank off and flush it out it's not connected to the motor I have a temporary fuel tank hooked up like an IV this is just so I can take that off so I'm just taking a screwdriver and taking any of this extra crap off you can use anything that you can get on there and just get it off and as long as your hole is not corroded and falling apart you can do this easily and if it is you can always plug that hole find a flat spot and drill another hole this is just plastic you can drill a hole <clears throat> and you can make this fix so now we go back into the shop and I have the parts. This is the original pickup. Okay, it's just an elbow with a straw and it goes into the tank. And when I got a hold of this thing, this was in there like that. Okay, and they had just built that all up with some kind of sealant that dried out and cracked and failed. So I was at the store today, the parts house. Uh, an entire new pickup for this was only eight bucks, I think. But they were out of stock and they had to order a new one. So we went another way. This is what we're going to repair it with. This is just a rubber bushing. Okay. These are easy. They come basically in one size, one size fits all, whether it's a riding lawnmower, zero turn, whatever. Uh, the parts number. For this <clears throat> bushing for stens is a 125-320 rotary is 7730 Oregon is 07-392 that is the part number for this bushing now if you if your pickup is broken and you want to go a different way they also sell this elbow and the part number for that is 120-196 and basically, you would just use the hole that's there. Let me put this down, see if I can <clears throat> get you to it. You would use the hole that's there. You put the bushing in the same way, and then you feed this through. Usually, these are on the bottom of a tank or the side of a tank. When it's on top, you actually need the straw to go all the way to the bottom of the tank to draw the fuel up. If you do not have a fuel pump, this will not work. That's why you'll find these on the side of a tank or the bottom of most tanks because they're gravity fed. On the cheaper riding lawnmowers, there is no fuel pump. 
So in this case, we have a top pickup with a fuel pump. So what we're trying to do now is just make sure that, you know, most of the gunk is off of this thing. It's no big deal. It's just a straw. And then for me, being the dirty boy that I am, I just want to make sure that there's no cracks in the straw. So I'm going to take this and close it off with my finger and blow in it. And I'm not getting any air through it, which tells me the elbow is fine and the pickup is fine. So in order to fix it, it's going to be real simple. All you needed was a screwdriver to scrape off any crap that might have been on there. See if I can get you close enough here to see what's going on. And then you get your bushing and you take it up to your tank and you find the hole now it's going to look like it's a little bit wide for that hole just twist it and work with it and it will eventually go into that hole if you need to you can use a, a drill bit to, to drill it just a little bit larger but if you do it may not seal correctly so just twist it till it works its way in and then all that's left is to make sure that the top of the pickup is clear slide that in it's going to be a little bit tight that's why we use the oil Spray a little bit of oil lubrication down there and just push it until it goes all the way down. Now you see, it's all the way down. Now there's at least a gallon of fuel in here, which is eight pounds. A gallon of liquid is eight pounds. I can pick up this whole tank just by the fitting I just put in. So I know that that's good, sealed and solid. Let me back you up here and show you that I'm really picking up the tank just with the fitting it still has a bolt in it but i can pick that up and that fitting's not going anywhere so what happens is when that goes down into that hole the hole is a little smaller than the fitting it expands it in the hole seals it around the hole of the tank and you're good and you can still turn it if you want to this piece right here is what they had half-assed for a fuel line so that just needs to come off and the new fuel line will go on and go around to the fuel pump Right now I have a temporary tank set up like an IV just going to the fuel pump. This is not connected. So, now I have a fuel pickup that goes all the way to the bottom of the tank. And it will connect to my fuel pump. So, our fuel tank is fixed. All this stuff that they used and put on here that's just dried out and crapped up and coming off was all unnecessary. When you look at the price of that fitting, I believe it was like two dollars and twenty cents for that rubber bushing and the problem is fixed just that simple strong ready to rock so there you go we just saved because i didn't have to use the metal elbow i bought that in case i wanted to put a new hole in the bottom of the tank because i couldn't get the fuel uh pickup they were sold out so that fix cost two dollars and 25 cents and took what five minutes the rest of it was me talking there you go instead of 152 dollars for a fuel tank a new fuel tank it was fixed for two dollars so we saved 150 bucks today on your way out the door please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you already have not we're we just broke 600 subscribers and one of my videos broke 30,000 views there's going to be a ton of videos on this Craftsman Zero Turn. Next, we're going to be testing the pumps. I'm cleaning the carburetor. We're going to get it running, test the pumps, and show you how to put this beast back together. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate everybody. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. If you have a different style tank, you're welcome to ask questions, and I'll help you the best I can. Otherwise, thanks for coming. See you soon.